days are very important. One is registration, because in just a few days, we're going to be taking buses to different places. And unless we know who exactly is here, we won't be able to put your name to reserve seats for a bus. The only way to reserve is many bus seats. Yeah. 
nothing will happen to me. So they threw them all the way down, and then they thought, yes, he's killed. And they ran down, and they found him perfectly fine, except for a scratch on his arm. So they said, why do you have a scratch on your arm? So he said, because I said, if my God is real. If I had to say if, I wouldn't have had any scratches. And he's not even a Vaishnava, he's just part of Brahma. Then we come to pure Odia Vaishnavas, like Madhav and Kripuri. In his last day of his manifested world, he played the part of an invalid, so much so that he couldn't move at all. And his two different disciples saw him in two different ways. One, Ramachandra Puri thought, as he was weeping, Oh, don't the man who were days, just meditate on the impersonal brother, thinking that his lamentation was material. So he said, Get away from here. If I see you at this last moment, on my departure from this world, I don't know what will be my destination. Whereas, Sri Yisura Purishai, understood his transcendence. So he never considered that his third day was an invalid. He understood that his body was chinmoy, Sachidananda, and yet he wasn't impersonal with him. He cleaned up his stool and dirty, and he sang kirtan to him, and he told pastimes of Radha and Krishna to him to uh, augment his mood. And the result was that Madhavan Kapuri blessed him with such great blessing. He said, May Krishna be pleased with you. Such a great blessing that he became the spiritual master of the Supreme Personality of Godhead. So just like Krishna was bound by a mortar, tied up to the mortar, but he liberated Nala Kuber and Manipriva. So great Gaudiya Vaishnavas they appear to be bound or under certain conditions where it's actually they're totally free and rather they are unbinding all the conditioned souls. So the Narayanadas Thakur, another great Gaudiya Vaishnava, was initiated, he was the son of a king, but now he's been initiated into Gaudiya Vaishnavism by this bona fide Gurudev, Lokanath Goswami. He was able to initiate Brahmas, and so many people became envious. How dare we do that? Because they were past Brahmas. So they made an arrangement to have a meeting to defeat them. So his disciples took the form of shopkeepers and customers who were uh, at the shop where all these past Brahmas were coming to buy their goods just before the meeting, on the day before the meeting. And even these customers, so-called customers and shopkeepers, defeated these past Brahmas. So they were thinking, well, if I'm defeated, if we're defeated by all these shopkeepers and customers, then how can we possibly meet with Bharata Das Thakur? He'll surely defeat us, and of course, the Vaishnava can initiate a Rama. But at that time, Shilanarana Das Thakur was doing the pastime of being paralyzed. He could not move at all. So, by his will, his disciples begged him to be free from that. So then he immediately became just like a young boy and started very actively going around so that his, these cast brothers would become afraid of him. And later on, they got paralysis. They were bitten by his face and so many horrible things happen to them. So I was stated in our Shula Prabhupada's purport to that description of Madhavendra Puri, blessing Sri Isra Puri, that the pure devotee spiritual master may appear to be invalid, but actually he's never invalid. He's only giving an opportunity to his disciples to increase their loving service. Our Shula Prabhupada was also a great Gaudiya Vaishnavacharya, wrote to two of his disciples in the late 60s when he had one pastime of having a heart attack. So he wrote to these two disciples 
that is not a disciple, here is Nanda. He was massaging me, he was cooking for me, he was doing so many services for me, which was wonderful. But at the same time, he was thinking that I was dependent, my existence was dependent upon his mercy. He thought that I needed him, and thus my pushed him down. He didn't realize that I was actually giving him the opportunity to serve me. So the great party of Vaishnavacharyas, they announced the pastime to wrench, as you're all experiencing, to wrench the hearts of all the disciples. So instead of around the world, instead of waking up in the morning thinking, how am I, how's my baby, how's my family, how much money do I have in the bank, that person insulted me, instead everybody's thinking, how's the birthday? How's my heart and soul? I have to get to medicine. I have to quit school so that I can go and meet with him in parking time. So he's performing a Shilakara Purde call regarding his Guru Maharaj, the Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati Thakur, because he was his personal servant in all circumstances, including his latter pastimes before his departure pastimes. He said, Seeing that I was conditioned and wanting to know me, my Guru Maharaj performed a very sweet and knowing pastime of becoming ill. So these two conceptions are not mutually exclusive. Thinking or understanding that means the manifestation, the external manifestation of the super soul, that out of his great compassion, Sri Krishna himself has come in the form of the spiritual master, that Krishna takes two forms in this material world, that is Antaryami and Bhaktisrestha, the super soul inside and the topmost devotee externally in order to deliver his inspired devotees, this understanding that his body is completely chinmoy, just as one may see bubbles and foam and mud in the Ganges, but by seeing through the eye of scriptures, which all knowledgeable people see through, for the correct thing, because the conditioned soul seeing may be wrong, because our seeing, our eyes, are just like the eyes of the Pinkan feather. So, simultaneously keeping this conception that the Tish Guru is the manifestation of the form of Krishna and the Tish Guru is the manifestation of the nature of Krishna, even that in mind, he does not become impersonal. But his heart is bent when he hears or sees the uh, sweet and knowing pastime. Rude can get an Oscar award because even though we all know the philosophy, still our heart is wrenched and we weep. So there's so many examples. Uh, even those who are not Gaudiya Vaishnavas, who do not have the supreme Ista Devi, Brother Rani, to give them the complete power, the complete perfection, even they have so much mystic power, they're not under the control of the material nature. They're under the control of the diary for freezing Ashita. So the Guru is totally under the control of Srimanti Radhika. One time in New Zealand, we were at the house of the Gurdjieff, and Srila Guru said in Darshan, No one can control me. Not even Krishna can control me. Because I am under the control of Radhika, and she is so powerful. If Krishna is angry at me, then I will say to him, Don't you realize who my Isidati is? Don't you realize who my Swami is? So Krishna will say, Oh, Namaskar to you. Excuse me. In fact, somebody on the caliber of Shiva Verdict, he controls even the mind of Krishna. As you may have read in the Gita Govinda, Gita Govinda, just as Krishna says to Srimati Rajika, Smara Gavala Gandana Mahashir Srimantana, Devi Pada Pada Gandana, please put your lotus feet on my head. 
to eliminate right there that Krishna even says that to the maid servants of Shivaji Gaudiya. One of the first things that Krishna ever said to me when I first met him in 1992 is that you are pursuing Krishna, but you don't know that if you become a Palayadasi of Shivaji Radhika, then Krishna will pursue you. Shilrupa Goswami prayed, and Shilrupa Goswami is embodied in the whole Rupa Rupa Dwara, in the whole Gauri of Arjuna So Rupa Goswami, instead of praying that when will I come to the pure platform of being able to undeservedly offer my obeisances to Lord Krishna, he's praying, when will I become a Jogidar? at the uh, door of Swananda Sukhada Kunj, where I will guard Radharani, where she will order me. If any black person comes, any uh, Sato Sukhal comes, even if he's disguised as somebody else, don't let him in. So I'll stand there, and when Krishna comes late, I'll say, where have you been? And then he'll say to me, well, I was asking on my way a long time ago, and Shaita and Kaila, Forces it could be somewhere that he didn't want to go. So then I'll say to Krishna, well, great, and just go back to where you came from. Because no cheater is able to come into my Swami's clinch. And then Krishna will have to bow down to me and beg my mercy that I will let him in. And then I'll pick him up, take him by the hand, and feed him at the lotus feet of my Swami. So I was still at the end is like that. He is a Rupa Nuka Gauri of Vaishnava. So he's unlimitedly powerful, and at the same time, he's a deep enough to both, both things that are mutually not exclusive. One, having hearted she feelings for him, and knowing that he's totally chinmoy. Even Amir Rishi, who's not a Gauri of Vaishnava, but a great Vaishnava, a friend of Nara Muni. He went to help his disciple, King Chikukesu, and he himself put his own body away so that he could take the body of the son of King Chikukesu just to teach him by that pastime. This will be Chimuni. He became a snake that bit the son of King Parashendra. So the Yashke told his spiritual master, Narada Muni, when he came to release his despondency, that you are just like the air, or just like the sun, that can enter into the internal regions of everywhere. And Sukhita Goswami prayed to his spiritual master, Sukhadeva Goswami, who opened up the door of Rasalila and all the pastimes of Krishna and the Gopis, and then our Gaudiya Sankaraya Acharyas opened the door even more. Without Sukadeva Goswami, the door was totally locked. The end yesterday. But still we couldn't understand their rules. So our Gaudiya Vedanta Acharyas opened it up for us. And our Shula Gurde, in his commentaries and translations, is opening it up so much. So he is the environment of all of them. So Sukadeva Goswami, as stated by Sukadeva Goswami, he can enter into the hearts of all. Even the great sages who are not Gaudiya Acharyas, who are not as powerful as Gurudev, and as this Rupa Rupa Guru Varga, these great sages, somehow without internet, without antennas, without telephones, they were able to know that King Gurudev was leaving this world in seven days. So from all their interplanetary systems, they found out and they came. So what to speak about Shilgurde? How much power he has? It's stated in the Bhagavatam that a spiritual master has unlimited knowledge to guide his disciples. And even if at any point, at any moment, he pretends to be ignorant, Actually, he knows every detail of God's creation, of both the spiritual world and the material world. Just as somebody who knows all the details of the real tree, it's no big deal for him to know the details 
of the shadow of the tree. So, the pure glory knows Krishna, who triggers. One who knows Krishna, the supreme absolute truth. To him, all the other truths are known.
मदीनों की सेवा के लिए इतना राजन है मदीन आवाज से मौजूद है जब तक सिर्फ नादर दुनिया के पास तो उसमें कार्य करते हैं मैंने इतने कैसे मुझे राज्य और मुझे सब नाम ऐसे इतने कैसे मुझे राज्य का कृष्ण के नाम में कोई किसे लगाव नहीं लगाव नहीं हाँ कृष्ण के इतने ही मौजूद हैं क्यों हमारे प्राणी से इतने मुझे राज्य का कृष्ण क्यों क्या है इसलिए कृष्ण के साथ है और भी अरे तो सामने तो आया कृष्ण के लिए इसमें पुलिस तथ्य की कहानी ताकत के जहां पर राज्य की पराकाष्ठा निश्चित सब बात है जहां पर मंजूर भाव की पराकाष्ठा दिख रहा है जहां पर कई आरोपों से बंद कर रहे थे सिपाह महाराज की भी बता रहे थे जहां पर रुमना लाल को सारी बंद कर रहे हैं अब आज हम लोगों को बताने को भी आज लगा बुला रहे हैं Thank <laughs> you. 